Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And guys, today we have to begin on a somber note. We're in mourning. We're in mourning. Welcome to mourning, Dropy. Welcome to mourning, Dropy. I don't know how to tell this to you guys, but we've had a tragic loss in the in the Dropy video community, and it was the initial recording of Random Shapes Challenge number two. It was too powerful a recording. It was too strong. My the, computer couldn't handle it. The video didn't save. So here we're gonna take a quick moment to remember those lost images that we worked so hard this on. This is like the in memoriam segment on uh, on the Oscars. We're just like gonna look at these, have them fade in with some nice. That's my plan. Some nice music. I'm gonna fade them in, uh, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna have some nice music right here. Some wow. nice piano music. Beautiful. This will be that gonna, segment. Are you gonna explain my room full of vampires, or are we just leaving it? <laughs> <laughs> I will just explain. Just leaving it as is. <clears throat> All right. We can we can talk about room full of vampires. I mean, Julia, you might be able to find another room full of vampires on this episode. It's going to be my goal to make the next random shape challenge that I do into a room full of vampires just in memoriam. Yep. Our favorite character, room full of vampires. Yeah. I'm so sad you guys will never get to see it. The original. The original. But this is also original. This is also original. We're doing a, a Random Shape Challenge 2, Risen from the Ashes, Phoenix Edition. Revenge Woo! of the Shapes. Revenge of the Shapes. <laughs> uh, do not challenge me, Shapes. I have the high ground. You would be a fool to attack me here. Um, we're doing the same thing we did last time. I've got uh, some 10 layers here with random shapes on them. Ooh, boy. Um, we're going to do a random number generator. Uh, see what number you get. Pull up that layer and make a character out of that shape. I'm ready. Nathan is up first. Nathan, let me get your number. Nathan. Yeah. Your number, number eight. Eight. The eighth shape. The eighth shape. Oh, Ooh. look at this. Now that's a shape. Now that's a shape. Now that's what I call a shape. That's a shape I'd take home to mama <laughs> and say, look at this shape. Why are you squinting at me like that, Julia? <laughs> This looks like um. <laughs> this looks like a a a, a moai head. Like, yeah, first I think of all, is, moai is head's probably the, gonna be the first. That's sort um, of my initial. Is like, that the initial? What was your I initial? I didn't see that. I saw the the bottom of Sonic's foot, like he's putting it in the air, like a ballerina. Excuse what? me. <laughs> oh, like, like the. So like, that's the that's the sole of the shoe right there. Uh huh. And then yeah. like he's and then, doing he's and doing then a here's the. <laughs> A yeah. Point. He's yeah. doing the point with his leg, <laughs> and then like the rest, he's like. I just down imagined here. a very fancy Sonic <laughs> putting his shoe into the air. His hands up, one oh. raised, one to the side. How dainty! So very that's dainty. One. That's, that's another. That was mine. That's another. Oh, such beauty, such grace. Okay, so I've got to make this into a character. Yeah, it's got to be a character. It's so got to be a character. You know, start your start your thinking there. I see mm -hmm. where I went wrong. Now, with my room full of vampires. That it wasn't a character? <laughs> that it wasn't a singular character. No. Mm. It was a, a full room full of characters. Yeah. Um, well, th this one's nice and small, which is, which is interesting. I think I'm just going to keep trying stuff out and see if something sticks. I like that. So Let's experiment. So yeah, so we're gonna let's have some fun. Let's have some fun let's on this live episode. A little. Yeah, let's have get some loose. fun on this news day redo's day. This is a redo's day, Julia. You're correct. Thank you. It is redo's day. It is a redo's Hopefully day. Hopefully, this will not be a recurring segment. Let's not. <laughs> I would like to do once. I like these random shape challenges, but uh, I also like to keep them. Oh, oh, who's this fella? Oh my goodness, who's this shy? It's got he's got a Homer Simpson mouth. He does have a Homer Simpson mouth. And then his nose and forehead are, are one and the same. Give him some teeth. So this is this is like a <laughs> this is a caveman. This is a caveman. Nathan's uh, hit character, a caveman. A caveman. A shy caveman. Shy caveman. This is fun. This is fun. This is an option. That's an option. That's an option. What else you see? What else do I see? What do your Nathan eyes see? It could also be like a Goomba that's been sort of split in half. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. Sort of like a fused together, like Franken Goomba. Oh, I thought you were gonna go with like he had just been split in half, and he was gonna be like in two segments with all of his like guts coming out. Oh yeah, that's fun too. That's probably more of a Julia thing. Yeah, is this um, Franken uh, Goomba? You know, you said Goomba, and I thought of the the Mario mushrooms. Yeah, that's one. what it is. Yeah, but like the ones that make you small or big. 
And those, I imagine those aren't Goombas. I know. Those are just mushrooms. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Those aren't. I'm aware. Those aren't the. But it made the me Goombas thinking. The enemies. It made you thinking. It made me thinking. What did it made you thinking? Can you believe to know I was thinking? I can believe. Those like small and big mushrooms, you splice them together. What would that do to Mario? It would. What would it do? Make him perfectly normal, <laughs> in proportion. It just it. <laughs> hmm. It tastes like a shiitake mushroom. It would make him Delicious. the proportions of a normal man. Yeah. It would make him very realistic looking. Like yeah. Perfectly rendered. Nothing. Nothing's been the the perfect one yet. There's can, not there's not a whole lot to this shape is is the is the thing. What about the outside shapes? You know, this, what do you see from the outside? This in? one's meant to give you more freedom, you know. It's yeah. meant to give you a lot of room to to use your own brain juice. Yes. And splash it on the canvas. Okay. It could be mm -hmm. if it is a head. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a ski mask pulled down over a really tall head. Oh, like a really long head. Could be a really long-headed burglar. You know what I'm also seeing? I'm seeing that thing that Indiana Jones replaces on the mantle and mm -hmm. switches them around. Yeah. The bag, you know? Yeah. That's what that little piece looks like that he so steals. Wait, so the burglar would just be like, this is just like the the spy <laughs> from, uh, from, from Team, Team Fortress. Fortress. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to get your goodies. You better keep your goodies locked up tight. <laughs> I don't like any of these. Oh, dang it, okay. I really can't stop seeing the bottom of a foot being raised in the air and I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> it's a weird thing for you to have seen first. I think no. we can all admit, Yeah. me and Nathan Julia's, and, and the chat, we I'm can all admit. definitely the outlier, yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's a weird thing to have seen first. Although I would like to know if anyone in the comments also saw that first. Because I'm curious if you're literally the only one. Yeah. You might be. I probably am. You right. just have such a unique view yeah. on the world, you know? I know. It's hard to be It's me. your intelligent mind. <laughs> I respect your intelligent mind. Thank you. Oh, now we got a couple feet. Now these are feet. Now these gotta, are feet. I've got to match these. It's a it's tall like, Mr. Potato. It's a Kirby what swallowed someone real tall. This is tall Kirby. This is tall Kirby. <laughs> I did sort of a Kirby looking guy for the other one as yeah, well. Yeah, you did. This also could almost be a schnitzel from Chowder. Okay. The tall... The right. tall square friend. This could be a hot dog man. This could be a hot dog man. Is this a dude in a mascot suit? That's a penguin with treads. What if it's what if it's a penguin with treads? What if it's like a, a battle penguin? Battle penguin. Now battle penguin. What if it's like We're heading in a direction I can I can respect now. Yeah, what if it's like this? Penguin, more like penguin. Like, the battle. Like the war. Thank you, Julia. You may have ping won the battle, but you won't ping win the war. Yep. This was, you know, a regular penguin at once, at one point, but now. After a horrible seal accident, reconstructed. Reconstructed, yeah. To here take we go. vengeance on the seals that ate his family. War penguin. War penguin. Coming to theaters right now. <laughs> Get going, Hollywood. Holly weird. <laughs> Holly weird. So There's we've a got a bunch of weirdos over there. We've got these <laughs> We've got these treads. Yep. You have a penguin with treads. I've got a penguin with treads. It needs it needs some more like battle stuff. It could also be like a big, you know, penguin tank that is piloted by many tiny penguins. That is fun. Inside that's, of it. That's um yeah. So maybe it's like because you know when you design a giant robot for combat, you want it to look like a big version of you. You want it like to look like a big of version of a bunch of you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So maybe instead of a beak, we've just got like cannon. Cannon nose. Cannon nose. Is there anything more brutal than penguin war? I I can't think of. I can't think of anything. That's how you get the emperor penguins. Yeah. Yeah, they have to win. They have to win the penguin wars. It's kind of like the Hungry Games. Mm -hmm. The Hungry Games? Yeah, it's yeah. like that, that series of books, The Hungry Games. Okay. This is the Penguin Games. This is the Penguin Games. And the so... winner does become the new Emperor Penguin. If this Penguin cannon tank thing ever fires, it's just going to be blown backwards on its treads. That's what's happening. It's so, <laughs> it's so high up. I imagine it does the reverse of like those just those like, little whoosh. bobber bird toys that bob into like water. He yeah. does the reverse. He just goes backwards. 
Well, I think the treads stay rooted. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, at the top, like, goes back. Yeah, pivots comes, back. Yeah, it comes back up. But every time the cannon fires, it just sounds like... <laughs> and the missiles are, like, bouncing off the other tanks and making squeaky noises. <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah. It's a very cute battle. Everyone can agree. But very brutal. Many penguins are dead. Yeah, many penguins die. Only one can be the emperor penguin, usually the most bloodthirsty of them all. So brutal, yet so cute. Sort of taking a page from your your first design, Jacob. Oh, yeah. Just a little... You put a you put a little guy inside yours. Yeah, stick a little guy in the big guy. Yeah, and I think there's like you know a bunch of penguins on the inside controlling yeah, and so fixing this is like, various aspects. This is the captain. He's got a he's got a little hat. That's how you know. That's how you know. Just get some like panels and rivets and yeah. and and me- metal things. They piece this together out of pieces of ships they found in the ocean. Right. Human technology tainting the natural world. They learned it from watching us, Nathan. They learned how to do war. They used to just lay eggs and then sit on them and then walk 100 miles every day to go get fish. Now this. Now this. The two penguin timelines are they've geared themselves up for war to fight or they've learned how to dance. (laughs) And that's the happy feet timeline. And that's the happy feet timeline. Yeah. Yeah, there's only two timelines ever yeah, written for a, penguins. Yeah, there's a shared penguin universe. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the Zelda timeline. Like, yeah. you know, there's one where the penguin hero wins, mm-hmm. and it goes on to uh, March of the Penguins. Yeah. Right. And if the sure. penguin hero loses, it goes on to War of the Penguins, which is the new movie we're making right now. Yeah. And if they learn to dance, it goes on to Happy Feet. Penguins don't have anything to war over. They just, live. They live on like a big fish. ice sheet. They're just trying to get the fish. There's enough fish. This is the this is the great penguin that's leading them all <laughs> into battle. What they're fighting against? Other penguins, I guess. I guess so. But or or seals. But this one's getting it's getting blown back. We've established it's getting blown back real far by the the re the reblast. Yeah, the reblast. That's what it's called when you fire something mm-hmm. and then it, it launches you backwards. It's the reblast. Mm-hmm. So they're like, "Oh shit, it's gonna, it's gonna crush us." All right. Um, Good job, Nathan. That's that's Penguin Bot, my new character, Penguin Bot from War of the Penguins in the shared <laughs> Penguin cinematic universe. Yeah. Nice, dude. Let <laughs> let me do. Okay. Let me go. All right. It's Jacob's turn. That's me. I'm Jacob. This is you. My number. Is number one. Bow, bow, bow. Holy shit, dude! Bam. Oh, that's a that's some legs. That's number one shape right there. That's either some legs or a, one of those the video game controller that no one wants to use. A Mad Cat's one. <laughs> it yeah. is definitely like that. So let's let's get those options out of the way because we have to. It could also be Lego hair. Um, it's like you know legs. Like kind of some sweatpants on like some cool high top shoes, like someone who's about to start break dancing, and they're doing like a, a getting ready pose. Oh yeah, like yeah, this is like I'm uh, about to hit it. Those look like Garnet's <laughs> legs from from Steven Universe. Yeah, they kind of do. Then you said Lego hair. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a Lego. Aww. Hello. I like, I like him. It's also what's her face's hair from Steven Universe, right? Garnet, 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 Garnet again. Oh, yeah. Garnet, still. Garnet again. Yeah, it's just still Gar- Garnet. It's just wow. Garnet's legs and Garnet's hair are the same. Yeah, it's all the same. Uh, but what do I want to do with this? What are you feeling? What does Jacob want? What does Jakey want? Jakey, what do you want? I'm thinking about that. Okay. 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 I've got some thoughts. Yeah. This isn't underwear. It's not underwear. It looks like you're doing underwear. It looks like. Looks Mondays. like we made it into underwear. This isn't underwear. <laughs> you just have to let me think. I believe let in me you. Think for a second. I believe you. Is this a big metal diapy? It's not a big metal diapy. I'm thinking. E- even I don't like where I'm headed with this. It's a big metal diapy, right? I'm. What? I'm thinking about. You know. I'm having a thought here. Mm-hmm. This is. This is made of bricks. This oh, is, is like this a, a giant worm in a tunnel. This is a it's a worm in a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Coming uh, out of both ends. My my thought that, that led me here is what if trains were bad 
And this is like a bad train. This is a bad train. This is a bad, a horrible bad train that is a worm. Oh, sorry, honey. I'm going to be late coming home again. Uh, I got stuck on one of those bad trains. Got stuck on one of those bad trains. It, it got circuitous in the tunnels. It was chasing its own butt. Oh, no. So it's, I think it's just like a horrible. It's like if uh, Totoro, instead of a cat bus, this was like the first iteration of cat bus. It was just worm train. It was worm train. Yeah, all aboard the worm train. The worm train did not test well with with children. <laughs> it writhed too much. Yeah, they they didn't like worm train, but worm train still lives on in my heart. Yeah, it does. Just to me, still look like a big brick underwear. Well, I'm not done, Nathan. You you asshole. It's a big brick underwear, and he's wearing some like some funny socks. No, see, this is the tunnel. Yeah. No, I see it. And it it was supposed to continue this way. Okay, so I'm thinking the tracks go this way. Yeah, the tracks go this way. Okay, so Worm Train. Worm Train is not doing its job. Worm Train is not staying on the tracks. This was a test test drive of the brand new experimental transportation device. I can tell exactly where the problem is. It's that Worm Train, there's nothing keeping Worm Train on the track. Worm Train (laughs) follows his own compass. This was uh, Elon Musk's new test vehicle. Worm train. Worm train. What if, since since trains use so much material to make that just wind up in landfills, you make it out of an organic material, and they can they can make copies of themselves. Worm train. I bet that was his pitch when he pitched worm train. And then like his investors were like, "Why does worm train have legs, Elon?" Hey, Elon. Hey, Elon. Why does Worm Train have legs? It gets over uh, rock slides. Hey, Elon, what's with all the legs on Worm Train? <laughs> um, we're getting nervous. He's like, I can't hear you. I'm too busy, too busy flamethrowers. I'm too busy doing flamethrowers space X. For 20, am I right, kids? I'm too busy doing flamethrowers space X. <laughs> that wasn't even words. I'm too busy getting in a Twitter fight with the guy who saved those people. I gotta gotta really shit on the guy who saved a bunch of kids. Uh, yeah, Worm Train, ill advised, ill advised. No one wanted it. No one liked it. But here it is. But here it is. I have to make the legs, you know, black so that so that it, it covers it, the line. Yeah. So now I have to do that. We can't erase, them. but we can draw over. We can cover. Uh, and so I think Worm Train just like almost immediately skittered off the track with its many legs, and the investors were like, El- Elon, this is more like a millipede train. And then Elon said, worm train, flamethrower, SpaceX. <laughs> and he ran off. He shot off in his rocket. Yeah. And now worm train is just out there. Worm train is, it's, yeah, it's like if at the end of Deep Blue Sea, if they didn't get the shark. If they didn't get the shark. And it's just, they just let it, they were like, ah, oh, dang. Well, I guess there's just one super intelligent shark out there. There's just one worm train. There's out just there. one shitty worm train. <laughs> Wasn't there a worm train in Men in Black in one of the Men in Black movies? I think they did like fight a worm in a train tunnel at the end of Men in one of the Men in Black movies because we watched it not too long ago. That was the one that was. It was Men in Black Two. It's yeah. the one with Rosario Dawson. Yeah. That they because it was yeah. It was on TV when we were in Austin for it RTX. Sure, it sure was, and we were making the best use of our time. By watching, it's always fun to watch a movie that's on TV, because it's like, it'll take twice as long because of the commercials. It takes such a long time to and watch And you can't TV pause movie. it, and yet somehow it feels more special. It does feel special, because everyone's in it together. The commercials give you time to do your riffs and, and your it, bits. And it's also like, I, none of us chose this movie. This movie just happened. It happened to us. Yeah, it did happen to us. None we of us gave up right at the moment that you know, clicking through the channels landed on Men in Black Two. Men in Black Two, Rise of Worm Train. Rise of the Rise of Worm Train. <laughs> this would be a, a Men in Black. They would have to. Maybe Worm Train stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Worm Train. Also. Poorly named because worms don't have legs. Worms don't have legs. That was another thing that, you know. There's like, do you, do you mean caterpillar train? No. No, worm train. Worm train. This is worm train. So it doesn't have legs. No, it has legs. So it's not a worm. Yeah, it is. It's a worm. It's a worm train. It's worm train. Hey, 
Hey, the Elon. legs the legs make the track so useless. Elon, how do people get on the worm train? What? <laughs> how do passengers get on? How does what get on? What are you talking what about? What are you talking about? It's, it's worm, worm train. train. <laughs> there aren't passengers. <laughs> Elon, we gave you billions of dollars. Yeah, give me more. Give, give, give me, me your more. all of your transit budget. This is transit now. Do you want me to fix worm train or not? What? How does it get people where they need to go? It doesn't. Get who where? So it's not a worm nor a train? It's worm it's train. It's worm train. train. <laughs> <laughs> I love this character. Uh, he does have a little butthole. Okay. Just to be clear. Do worms poop? Worm train does. Worm train <laughs> absolutely po- And it must be fed. Yeah, it must be and fed. And it must be fed. You have to feed worm train or else it will find something to eat. Yeah, worm train is incredibly dangerous. And just to be very clear to anyone who might cite Worm Train, do not attempt to board Worm Train. No, you there's no way. Not it's anywhere. not designed. To, you'll you'll get eaten. <laughs> you, it does not house passengers. It, but it does house them in the sense of like you house a big sandwich. Right. Yeah. It will gobble you up and enjoy every minute of it. Uh, this is Worm Train. I think I'm done. So so far we have a, a mechanical version of an animal and an animal version <laughs> of of a machine. <laughs> yep. As our two characters. Great. Uh, we've covered those bases, which leaves yeah. it all open for Julia to really. Room full of I vampires. Just, I just hope that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really hope you find a way to make yours a room full of vampires again, Julia. Oh, it's going to happen, Nathan. It's well, going to uh, happen. Let's find out. Get in here. All right, Julia. Mm-hmm. Your number. Give me the room full of vampires number. Number 10. Number 10. The as final in 10 number. vampires? 10 vampires on this lair. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Aww. That's a cute shape. That's a fun shape. I immediately see like a, a, a little- A room full of vampires? A camel worm. Yeah. Or a, a frog with a lopsided smile. Okay, so let's entertain I see, y'all. I see two butts. I see two butts sort of w- wiggling. Two butts wiggling. Two butts a wiggling. Oh, and the, they kind of like meet in the middle. Yeah, maybe. on the-, on the th- Fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me <laughs> two, two butts, butts a wiggling. wiggling. She gave you two butts a wiggling on the fourth day? Yeah, because it's four cheeks. There you go. Hey. <laughs> okay, and uh, Jacob, what did you see? It's a camel worm. It's All like right. a happy, this is different from worm train. This is absolutely different from worm train. Oh no, it's not happy. Oh, I thought it was gonna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Camel's got them stupid mouths. That's um, what? <laughs> That's a cat. That's a cat. <laughs> That's a kitty cat. They have those stupid. They have those stupid. Well, they have those like big, long, like gross snouts. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like a seal. Aww. Maybe this is what the penguin <laughs> bot was fighting against. Against ass. What's seal? happening with that mouth? Lump seal. <laughs> I don't understand at all what's going on with that mouth. <laughs> You've not pleased me at all with this camel worm. It does look like when you put the ridges in it, it looks like a real tasty pastry. Yeah, it does. This or... looks like it could be like a real yummy, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so it is just a cat. <laughs> no, it's one of those those like sea lions that just like hang out on big rocks and they like hide their little flippers. I did also like the smiling frog because that that's also something I see. Yeah, can we see the smiling frog? Can you make it the smiling frog real quick? That's not the smiling frog. The whole shape. The whole shape is the smiling frog. The whole shape is the smiling frog. What? Like the middle two lumps are the eyes. You really don't see the smiling Uh, frog? Oh, I super didn't. And then it's got a big old smile. You were too busy seeing like Sonic's underwear or something (laughs) gross. This is Sonic's toes. You're too busy seeing. You're Sonic's seeing it's some dramatic toes. foreshortening of Sonic wiggling his many <laughs> toes right in your face. There's hey, nothing. Hey. <laughs> oh, look at this! How you doing, <laughs> sweet stuff? Oh. This is Carlisle, the lecherous frog. <laughs> Carlisle. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bad example. Do not follow Carlisle's do not, example. Do not be like Carlisle. He's catcalling right now as we speak. Man, Julia got a fun shape. <laughs> it's a shape that I hate so much because it's all curves. I wanna I wanna do mine over. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Jacob, can I do mine over? No. <laughs> That's not how this works. No, I know. There you go. There's your smiling Look frog. Look at all that tongue. There's Carlisle the lecherous frog. He's got frog. so much tongue up in that mouth. He's got tongue for days. There you go. What you gonna do with all that tongue? <laughs> all that tongue inside your mouth. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't it. know, man. Guess What's he pointing to? He just lick stuff. He's, He's like, like, take a look at that. <laughs> take a look at that booty. <laughs> <laughs> and his friends are like, Carlisle, enough. You're so disrespectful. And then he's like, the only thing I'm gonna disrespect is that ass. Carlisle. Carlisle, stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna find happiness at this rate. So now I also see, since we drew mm-hmm. a horrible frog. Yeah. Um, another horrible frog. Another horrible frog. A second frog. A different, this is a hat. This is a hat. It's a big hat on a little person. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's never going to get me in here. I have really sensitive skin. I can't go out in the sun. I have to sit under my big hat all day. I live in here. People get really mad when they have to sit behind me at the theater. (laughs) They say, can you remove your hat? And I say, no. Absolutely not. I'm naked under here. (laughs) (laughs) I'm naked and I'm very scared. (laughs) Julia, you're so good at finding, like, He's got a little guitar. He's got a little guitar. He's Places. The guitar over here. You're so good at finding like ways to give these shapes depth. Thank you. Like by just adding that one little swoopy, you've you've indicated there is depth. There is depth here. I thought I indicated plenty of depth in Worm Train. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows the true depth of Worm Train. <laughs> I love this tiny sad cowboy. Yeah, I kind of do too. I've got a big hat to fill. It was his father's hat. My father was devoured by a room full of vampires. <laughs> I have to draw a room full of vampires just because I said I would. How are you going to make this? A Don't room? worry about it. Okay. I got it. Don't you challenge me in my room full if of vampires. If you tell skills. me that vampires have infiltrated this tiny cowboy's hat, I'm going to be so sad <laughs> no, to learn that information. Having a little peaceful life under this hat. I want you to color this one. I will. Just so we can get like a nice like starscape up above, you know, yeah. like he's out. Yeah, he's gonna be like looking up at the stars on the the prairie. Well, he he's not looking at the st- he's looking towards the stars. He's looking but he towards can't, the stars. He can't see shit. <laughs> I bet there's stars up there right now. Someday I'd love to take this hat off, but not until my job is done. Not until my grim work is complete. <laughs> my daddy won't avenge himself on account of him being dead. I, not in a million years would I have come up with a gigantic hat for <laughs> Tiny Cowboy <laughs> with this shape. You know, it takes a mind like one that sees Sonic's <laughs> foot doing a ballet point to come up with this. You know, I think you just don't appreciate me sometimes. I, I am appreciating you right now. That's what we're doing. so much. This is incredible. So he has like a little, he's got a little campfire going don't on. Don't burn the brim of the hat. Oh, Jeez. It's it's just billowing around it. Okay, okay good. It. If anything bad befell this cowboy, I don't know what I'd do I'd with be myself. Tiny cowboy? No. Tiny cowboy is too powerful. Okay. I think he's not powerful. He just understands his place in the world. Yeah, yeah which is, you know, there's a, a sort power of power. There's a power to that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a power to, well, there's also just sort of a power to being the sort of person that wherever you go, like, you can win people to your side. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's something Tiny Cowboy can do. He can definitely do that. Tiny He's Cowboy won me shows over. up in town, and everybody's like, "Oh, hey, buddy, how can I help? What can I do for you?" Well, Miss, I'm looking for the man with one arm. What killed my father? <laughs> I do think that he is just a, a really beautiful, deep country yeah. singing voice. Yeah, definitely. You know, he has a very deep voice. Okay, we get, we get. Howdy, like a ma'am. Moon in here. <laughs> dun, ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 That's how he makes ding, his money. Ding, ding, you know, he just shows up into bars <laughs> and does like a little show, and people are just like, oh my God, this little cowboy. Oh man, it could be like Ratatouille. <gasps> he shows up, and anyone who puts on the hat, he's under there, and he plays this beautiful music, and he makes all these musicians famous. Yes. But all he wants to do is spread his beautiful songs in whatever way they can be heard. Yeah. Because he's too small. He's too small to fit on stage. Yeah, no one would be able to no see one, him. Up no there. one would ever put him on the shows. But they put bigger people on shows. Yeah, you put 
put that hat on Tim McGraw's head. Uh huh. See what you get. And that's how we got Tim McGraw. That's how we got Tim McGraw. Because this is, I guess, a regular sized cowboy hat. He's just very small. He's a very tiny man. He's the tiniest little man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the best character we've come up with today. Cool, but I still have yeah. to do a room the full of The best character <laughs> we've come up with ever. <laughs> Okay. So this is the this is room full of vampires part two. Okay, room so full of vampires got, part two. We've Should got we sort use of a... this moment to explain room full of vampires part one? <laughs> okay, so, so that anyone knows what we're talking about. Referenced it so much. I mean, we put up the image, right? We put up the image for Julia's shape. She spent a long time doing these wild like decisions, and we're like, "What is she doing? What character is this going to be?" And then eventually it became clear that she was just drawing a stylish room full of vampires, yeah. which is not a character. No. No. But, but now is a character in our hearts. Yeah, room full of vampires. The character of a room full of vampires. Yeah. Oh, you know what else I just saw? What? Uh, brass knuckles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah kind, of a, like a... kind of a brass knuckles, which isn't really a character, but. No. But you could, you can draw it. There you go. You There's... could you could do some good punches. And the knuckles are gonna say like kiss, kiss, kiss. My favorite band. <laughs> <laughs> His other hand says my favorite band on it. Okay, so we've got we've got some nice archways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think I just. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm exploring. I'm exploring some options right now. Exploring the room. I'm exploring we'll be careful, the room because there are vampires in the room. Yeah, don't explore too far. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about Room Full of Vampires was just the sort of resigned man that was in there. Yeah, and let me draw him in who uh, was just, for you again. He was just like, oh, God, I'm, God, I found my way into this Room Full I of wanted. Vampires again. Is this, can this be like the sequel to Room Full of Vampires? I want to know what happened to the man. This oh, is, yeah. This is Tomb, tomb Full the of The Tomb va- Full of vampires. vampires. Yeah, this is a Tomb Full of Vampires. It's, you know, you got the, the archways coming in. Yeah. He passed yeah. his first test in the room full of vampires. Yeah, then he, he has to go to the tomb full of vampires. He told a really good joke upstairs. And I was just like, ha you're in, mortal. And okay. he's like, what? <laughs> in what? Said, That's a weird thing to call me. We're, we're all mortal, right? <laughs> we're just a bunch of mortal friends we're hanging a, out. A bunch of mortal dudes hanging, yep. The, <laughs> the man with the sunken eyes is just like, oh, oh dang it. <laughs> now I got This is a room full of vampires again, isn't it? <laughs> I've done it again. Gosh <laughs> darn it. And now I'm in the tomb full of vampires. I just keep digging my hole deeper, don't I? I told myself, if people are being nice to you, check to make sure they're not vampires before you follow them into a room. But I didn't think about tombs. (laughs) Well, remember for next time. Next time. Okay. You know what they say, get me in a room full of vampires once, shame on you. (laughs) Get me in a tomb full of vampires twice. Shame on two. Shame on tomb. That's what my mom always said. (laughs) It seemed weirdly specific at the time. Yeah. I guess it's hereditary. Okay, he's gonna have like a a hand on this dude's shoulder. Cause this is the guy that was like leading him through. You know, he was like, I met this uh, this mortal at a bar. He's real funny, so I thought I'd bring him around, you know? He's like, what? (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't look funny is the thing. No. He doesn't look funny or like he's- Well, that's, that's how they get him. Is, yeah, that was also part of the appeal. Because no, no one ever has told him that he's funny. He's, he's, he's such a serious man. Yeah. He's not funny. He's not funny. The vampires lie to his face. The vampires lie directly to his face. Because vampires, they can't enter your house without your permission, but they can lie to you as much as they want. Yeah, they yeah. can do that no matter what the situation. Here we go. Dang it, I got glamored again, didn't I? Dang it, this keeps happening to me, you know? The thing about the first room full of vampires is you actually like took the shape and like. Are you saying that I'm not doing that here? <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> and made, and like made that it That was into all the, angles, that last yeah, shape. Yeah, that was a perfect room full of vampires shape. Yeah. I'm just glad that like people are getting to hear about room full of vampires. I would have been sad if, uh, if they didn't. We had so many good bits about the room full of vampires, and I kept flipping between that and my little drill boy. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna find a bunch of vampires. I had a plan for this bottom shape, and I forgot what it was, and now I just I can never recall it. Is it one vampire doing a big swoop? 
Oh, that cape. would be cool. Huh. All right. <laughs> yeah, let me like. Yeah, like a real solid foreground vamp. Yeah. He has his coat here and his arm. And he's like. And he's like, you can never leave now. And he's, he's swooped around. This, is like, this would be like the scene right before it cuts. Yeah. Like his cape would swoop around and then it would go to black. Yeah. And you'd be like, wow, our, our character is really trapped now, isn't he? And then it would it would play some some like popular indie song. Yeah, but like, like really oh, slow. The, the people, yeah, it would be a cover. It'd yeah, be like a slow, slow cover. cover. I also forgot that we had an entire bit um, where I kept asking if I could erase and you guys said no. So then I just made things negative space <laughs> with black. Yep. Yeah, that's gone now. Should we just have some bats like hanging out? Let's have some bats hanging out. Why not? You know, what's funny is that the top of the shape that you've given me is very, like, bat wing-like, right? Yeah. That's it's sort of, we it sort of looks like to. if Batman was hanging, if a couple of Batmans were hanging out upside down. Yeah. Just or a couple of Batmans. Just one Batman, I guess. There's some bats hanging out up here. Got to get some, like, there's some bricks going on in the back here. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like, I imagine he's in like a, a dungeon-y place where all the sure. coffins are. Maybe we've got a coffin bed like hanging out over here. It's propped right. up against the wall. Sure. Coffin bed. Coffin bed. Coffin bed. I also just want like, mm -hmm. I just want some nice like curtainage, you know, like they, sure. they decorate it a little bit. Why not? Curtainage. 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 It's pertinent to have curtainage. Pertinent curtainage. Julia, this is a this is a really good room full of vampires, Thank and you. It, it's it's something we all wanted to see again. But uh, you know who I miss? Who do you miss? Tiny cowboy. Yeah, so do oh, I. Me too. You know, I just felt like I had to finish the the you know room full of vampires because no, I said that I would. Yeah, you said you would, but that was before that was before I met Tiny Cowboy. Yeah, yeah he changed things for me. All right, I'll bring you know? back Tiny Cowboy. Can I see him? Bring bring yeah. him back up. Can I see him one more time? Oh, there he is. What a, what a sweetie. Meanwhile. I Meanwhile, know, in the desert. In the desert. <laughs> I want to know all. I want to know all about this guy. I want to go with name? him on on all his adventures. Do we I, know even know his name? You don't need to know his name. It's like the the uh, the the Clint Eastwood. The guy. He doesn't have a name. He's just like the pilgrim. He's like the stranger. Or something. The stranger. Yeah. Yeah, that's like this. He's just he's the just, tiny he's cowboy. He's just the tiny cowboy. He shows yeah. up and everyone's like, "Oh shit! It's the tiny it's, cowboy." There he is. There he is. I think a good name is one that really suits a person. Yeah. And Tiny Cowboy suits this character yeah. perfectly. I had a name once, but people call me Tiny Cowboy now, and well. I've done forgot it. I've done forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> Only can keep so much information in this tiny little head of mine. It's all just full of songs now. Would you like to hear one? do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is wonderful. Yeah. Excellent job, guys. We we came out of here with Penguin Bot, Worm Train, and Tiny Cowboy. Yeah. And a room full of vampires. And and one and, room full and of vampires. And one room full of vampires. Um, sometimes you got to do things again. Sometimes you got to do things again. Yes. <laughs> sometimes Correct. Sometimes technology done, don't want to do what you want it to do. Is this Tiny Cowboy's new song? It's like his blues song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> this one's called... Missing file blues. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. Sorry. Sorry.